Right, right. And, and... No, no. No, that, that, that right there just... I'll, I'll be honest with you, that just pisses me off. And... Well, I can tell you right now, you're in a department, it's called the Buck Stops here. And I wear, I wear a size 13, so... I, 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 I'm going to go around here. Now, I am going to say there is a billing issue, okay? I, I will say that there is. But there are other problems on our side, too, that are contributing to these things. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fax me some more examples. I'm going to see if I can pull a different report. And what I'm going to do is take that report and I'm going to set up a meeting with your network manager and oh they, they have to return mine they have no choice <laughs> you know what I think because you're uh, the type of doctor I'm not sure if you're ex exactly assigned one or how that works but the one that gave it to me is the one good enough that's going to be handling this. So, um, we'll, we'll look at, we'll go through all these, uh, contracts and everything else and make sure that now that, uh, uh, one provider is still with you, correct? Okay. Okay. That's what I want to make sure. Because that that's that's uh that's an issue right there. Um Okay, so let me let me uh let me No, I like those e I like those EB ones. Yeah, and you know there will be. I know I automatically know there will be some shared savings ones, and I automatically know there are going to be some out of network ones. So I this do yeah I want the I want the EBs, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to repull the report for out of network and and any uh, uh, EB remark code and uh, that should give me the 300 or so claims and now UG is the is actually the in network deductible so that one's okay that one means something went right now, what was the other one? Let me let me check that one. Processing service line has been recoded with the individual. Oh, okay. If you, okay, okay. Let you know what? Fax me one of those because I want to see that. I think I know what. I think I know what's wrong with that one, and I think it'll be an easy one.
yes that would be that would be great and then as soon as I review those um, I, I can go ahead and uh, pull a new report and go from there and see if we can get some of the system updated and uh, uh, go from there I might you know there it, it, this some of this is not just going to happen real fast, okay? I'm, I'm going to let you know that. But I... Right, and that's the well. That's why I I have a job. <laughs> I mean, it's it's sad to say. I mean, even you know, to to be honest, uh, our company has a ninety nine point uh, I think eight nine percent uh, correct rate on first time filings and we and we deal with probably four or five million claims a week so I mean that you know, it's it's a good number to have but it there's still when you deal with that many claims there's still problems and it's getting to the root of them and sometimes people don't uh, take care of things correctly and that's why I say this is the buck stops here department and what happens after this is not good for other people so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait for that fax and I'm going to tell you that we can get some of this stuff adjusted I might have to break up the project into a couple pieces and uh, that way we can you know get some of these going so we can get you some cash because obviously 300 claims out that's not good and so we can uh, you know get this thing going and uh, taken care of Right. What I would do, I mean, that one is kind of out of scope for me, but I will say this. At least every claim can be appealed twice by, by both the member and provider. Now, the first time uh, goes to the adjusters, and sometimes it does not get taken it gets uh, you know denied again second time it does go to a higher up appeals board that does have more power the patients should be doing it too because it should be knocking it to their responsibility 
so I would advise them. I would always, I would appeal you for anything. Trust me. If Walmart does not do me right, I appeal. I might appeal in a different way than I appeal in a insurance claim, but I appeal. So, I mean, I always, 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 always do that. Because that's, um, that is, that is the way, those are the people that have the authority that even I don't have. I mean, I don't have a lot of authority. I just, I just know enough about everything within our company to, you know, get things happening and make sure things are fixed, you know, and that's, that's my part of the whole role. But there are people out there with the authority to, you know, say, okay, yeah, we'll pay this $3 million claim. And it comes out of our pockets. And I wish I had that authority, but unfortunately I don't. And I, but I will advise everyone to appeal. That's, uh, that, that's odd, uh, that, it should be done, and you know I know providers like the old Hell South. If you remember them, they used to have appeals already preformed. They, yeah, oh yeah, they could. Oh yeah, they could. They could appeal a hundred thousand people in a day. Yes, they were smart. They were smart. I, I got to give it to them. They were. They they were really smart. They had that cover letter. They had all that stuff all written up, and if I say, oh, yeah, I have to file an appeal, they would be no problem. No problem. So, I, I you know, <laughs> there's a little tip there, you know? Right. Right, right. So, yeah, go ahead and get that to me, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take a look at it and uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll, we'll start to... Uh, yeah, and like I said, it, I'm pretty sure we can get it started. We might have to split it, which is fine. It's, it's no problem. And the only reason I'd split is for that second uh, provider to have the contract loaded. And then we'll deal with those ones. Okay. But uh, I think uh, but be, because of MPI and stuff like that, I can start filtering them out and uh, dealing with them that way. And then once that's all fixed, we could, uh, uh, I could tell you, you know, what to uh, ask uh, EDI and then, then they'll be able to tell you what, how to change that so that it shows, you know, the doctor's name, drops your clinic's name because we could, we'll put the check whatever, it doesn't matter. So we can we can put the check to Disneyland. It doesn't it doesn't it does our system doesn't matter about that. So you can put the doctor's name only, put their NPI and everything else, and 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 uh, we'll automatically put it to the group because we know there is a group and everything else. And so um, we can get EDI to help out with that, but there. EDI is kind of correct that there is some issues as far as the way you're loaded. So I'll be working with that part to get that fixed. Well, that's what I am here for, and, uh, 
That is correct. If you're filing by paper, make sure box 33 just shows doctor and their MPI. That's what, when we go paper, that's what we, we look at box 33. Okay. So, um, all right. And I'll give you a call after I'm done reviewing those. No problem. Bye. That's why I get paid. I can tell if that's somewhere out of a size 13. Isn't it funny why I can get away with them?